What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu the Tech Guru coming straight at you. Today we have episode three of my Tech Tuesdays with Ubu. Now I'm sure you're wondering, well, what the hell, Ubu? Here we go again. It's not Tuesday. Why are you uploading a Tech Tuesdays with Ubu? Well, I'm sorry. You know, Crisis 3 was just released yesterday, and I was so busy playing it, I didn't get around to creating the video. So here we are a day late. I apologize. Um, you know, for those that are trying to stay up to, um, you know, up to snuff on the, the Tech Tuesdays with Ubu series, here is the third episode. I apologize for being a day late. So this one is going to be a short one, but a very, a very uh, good tip. After, if you followed my episode one and two, they basically involved jailbreaking your iOS device and uh, using Cydia to install some certain apps and tweaks. Now, um, and I don't know if I just, I want to give a little plug to this theme that I have currently on my screen. It's a really awesome theme. It is $2.99, but I mean, if you look at it, the theme is, it's really, it's, it's packed full of uh, the customized icons, um, the screen. Here, I'll shut it off, and you can notice the lock screen is really cool. Um, I'm going to gray out my passcode there, but look at the numbers. I mean, super pimp looking. Uh, really cool theme, and I definitely suggest it for $2.99. I think it's worth it. It is a, it's a winter board theme, so um, it was E for Ezra if you want to check that out. Now, uh, back to you know what, what I wanted to do this episode on, and it basically just involves backing up your Cydia apps and tweaks so that if you ever have to restore your phone or redo the jailbreak or even you know jailbreak it so say I update the iOS firmware to 6.1.1 or even 6.1.2 which is out now and evasion jailbreak has been updated to jailbreak the the latest iOS firmware 6.1.2 I'm currently just gonna stay at 6.1 for now um, but so you know this is a neat little thing that allows you to back up your Cydia apps and tweaks so what you want to do is first go into Cydia <clears throat> and you're gonna to want to perform a search and it's uh it's called open backup <clears throat> so normally when you go into Cydia it's gonna download the latest packages and everything from the Cydia store uh, reload the data so it's all fresh database and everything so I'm gonna to go to search and I'm going to do open backup if I can spell here so there it is it pops up so you just click that and then um, it is the free it's the it's one of the free backup utilities um, there are some paid ones I think PKG backup is a paid one and um, there's apt backup I think so you know there is some other options for paid backing up uh, of your Cydia apps and tweaks but I'm just going to be showing you the free one today which is open backup so that'll go through and install the necessary uh, applications and utilities to properly use the the open backup software so it's done and I just returned to Cydia and then basically just go back to your home screen and normally it puts an icon on your phone which it did right there so you can see open backup it's on the last page so I would just click uh, click on it and now I simply hit backup and so now it's basically taking a backup of all of your Cydia apps and tweaks very easy tool to use, uh, very beneficial, and what it's going to do is it creates a backup on the local file system of the phone, and then whatever you choose for backing up your phone, whether it's to your iTunes on the computer or whether it's iCloud. <clears throat> so it says backup complete. If you're unsure what to do, please review the instructions. Um, basically. Uh, it's it's backing it up to the local file system on the phone so then whenever you perform an iCloud backup or an iTunes backup it's going to install your um, it's going to transfer over your backup to those locations so you'll be able to restore from it so if I click the uh, info the little um, uh, little info circle over there on the right this is what it brings up 
So it basically, it, it made a folder containing my backup, and the folder is located at var, mobile, library, preferences, and then open backup files. And at, just as it says, it will back up with iCloud or iTunes. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, if you wanted a for sure safe way that you save that backup, you can always SSH into your phone and create a copy of that folder, you know, to a location on your computer. But um, as I said, it does get, that folder does get backed up to you know, iTunes uh, on the computer or your iCloud, whichever backup uh, solution that you're using. So hopefully you found this little um, Tech Tuesdays with Ubu video helpful. If uh, you guys have any suggestions for what you'd like to see next, please put it down below in the comments. And that's about all I got for you today. Take care, guys. Ubu out.